we just brought in a couple of days ago. We're super excited about it. It is from High and Mighty. This is a set of floating shelves. Yes, that big look in home decor, the floating shelves that you hang maybe in the living room or over the bedroom for your artwork, for your cool industrial stuff, for your collection of, of, of old fashioned bottles. But you're thinking, yeah, but oh gosh, to hire the carpenter or put it on the honey do list, it'll never get done, it'll be really expensive. I can't do it myself. Well, guess what, Megan Elizabeth, is here to show you. Yes, you can. She has for 15 years been blogging. She's an ultimate DIYer, mom of four, yeah. handy woman that has brought these floating shelves that you do not need a screwdriver for. You do no not tools. need a hammer, no tools. You can install into your wall, as long as it's drywall, to give you that look. We have a set of two of them in either white, finish and this they will all have that wood grain kind of mm -hmm. finished look to it yeah um, or we have it in the espresso which is right here h22 2707 and you get both for less than fifty dollars okay so megan i know you're handy but yeah. you've got to convince me that Anybody. me not so much I can hang shells that they'll be level and everything will stay on them and it won't come collapsing down. Yeah, you're going to literally place, press, and decorate. It's so simple. And I'm going to show you right now. Do you mind okay. being my assistant? So oh, I'd love to. Together. Yeah. So you're going to get everything you need all included. You do not need any special tools. Everything that you need, including your level and your mount hooks, are all included. So there's no special finding studs. There is nothing other than your drywall and your hands that you're gonna need. So okay. let's, get, let's do this here. All right. So I'm gonna give you my little prop wall here so we can get a nice close look at exactly what we're doing. Do you mind holding that up oh, for sure. me? Awesome. So I'm going to just remove the backing sheet from our level. There's gonna be two backing strips on each side of our level. This is our little template so that we have everything perfectly where we need it to be. So I'm just gonna kinda line this up in the middle of our, of our wall here. And if you just wanna look from overhead to make sure that that bubble level looks even to you, a uh, little bit more trying. There, there, there we there. go. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna press it Perfect. down there. Okay. We're gonna press it down here, all the way across. Our level is center, even. We're good to go, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this down on our okay. table to have a little bit of traction because we are doing this on a prop wall. These are your drywall hooks. This is all you're going to press into place, okay? So we're going to place it where we need it, and we're gonna press it down either with the palm of our hand or with our thumb. I'm gonna get a little bit on each side going, and then boom, boom. Wow, it goes right in. Right into the drywall. Super, super simple. This is our mount. We're gonna do it on the other side. Okay, and you wanna push it up. where it gets flush to the tape, right? Yeah, That's so how, it's right inside that go. little template okay. there, okay? So I'm gonna give it a little push, boom, and a little push on this side. Whoop, that one's not quite even. If we don't get it quite even, we're just gonna pop it out. And this is actually a great time, great time to tell you here this is the size hole that it leaves, Stacy. I got it. I went right through my tape. Sorry about that. This is the size hole that it leaves. Oh. So it is literally the size of a pinhole that it leaves. So we're just going to line that right back up. Just missed that template a little bit. So we're just going to get it right back into the template. Boom. Boom. Down. Down. Just like that. All the way across. Then we're going to grab our shelf. Okay. We're going to line up the brackets on each side. Mm -hmm. Okay and click it right into place. That is it. That is all we need to do to have a perfectly wow. level shelf ready to decorate. Hangs up to 20 pounds for us. So let's go over and take a look on the wall behind and it's, us. And it's 24 inches wide yep. and six inches deep from yes. front to back. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanna quick show you the video yep. again. So. so they're placing, that's all you gotta do. Place, press, one side, one side. That's it. Super simple with the thumb or the palm of your hand in both sides. You're going to grab that shelf, line up the brackets on the bottom, and click it right into place. That is top un and decorate. Believable because yes. I love this look. I have floating yes. shelves in our kitchen uh, above our range. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously we built the home so we had professionals do it, but yep. I sat there and just hanging a picture can be mind boggling to get yes. it straight. And if you're doing a series of something, it's a lot of work like yep. this really makes it goof proof. Right, so you're just grabbing that adhesive strips right off the back. So we're lining it up on the wall. You can see my bubble level right here yep. is completely centered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my brackets again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in here to the wall right inside the template. I'm going to press and press. That's it. 
We're gonna can, come over to this side. Right. Can I try? You wanna try it? Cause I wanna see, like I'm worried, like what if I'm not, I don't have strong enough hands. All right, I'm gonna get that one started for you. Okay. But you can press. So press. Oh, that goes in really easy. Just line up that so with the oh. template because that's what I missed before. Yep. There you okay. go. Press. Oh gosh, so that goes easy. in way easier into the drywall than I thought it would because I was worried like if I'm really weak, can I still at least use a yeah. little hammer and tap it in? You could tap it in if you really needed to, but the point is, is that it really you don't, is you won't have to. no tools required. Okay. So here we are. We're going to line up the bottom of the mm -hmm. shelf. We're going to pop it right on and it's flush against the wall. It's not leaving any damage. It's little pinhole size and we're ready to start decorating. Oh so we can gosh. do a little coffee station in our kitchen. We have a place to put maybe over the toilet to have a place to stick that curling iron or to decorate with your favorite lotions or bath towels or whatever it would be. You're able to do that. And then when we want to remove them, they pop off just as easily and they're reusable to move from any room of the house. So when we're ready to do that, Pop it up. They're showing the video right now, there it is. so I don't want the, anybody to miss out. Cool. But again, I love that they're completely yes. reusable. No hammer, no drill, no screws. Again, this is for drywall, though. Right. So don't put this on plaster walls of an older home. Don't put this on brick. Don't try to put this into stucco or wood paneling. So just for drywall. But yep. there's all the ideas. When I watch all those renovation homes, I see yes. like the series of succulents mm -hmm. or you know something like this. Yes. You know, and I'm like, or in a magazine, I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that, but I, I it's it's going to cost a lot to hire somebody, or if I do it myself, I'm going to screw up the wall or leave a big hole. Right, and you're not worried about big, huge anchors. So when you're ready to remove it, you're just going to lift up, okay. pop it off. And then what I do is you can grab a flathead screwdriver or a putty knife, and we're just going to come in here, and on each side, we're going to lift it up. And we already showed you on that little wall, but let's just kind of take a look. This is the size hole that it leaves. It's a pinhole. You're able to fill that in with toothpaste. So rental properties, this may be the perfect option for you. You're not leaving huge anchor holes in your wall. Well, those You're drywall facing, anchors are thick. They're thick. Yeah. And they may not hold 20 pounds. Some of them only hold 10, 15. Get out, really? Yeah. So this is going to hold your full 20 pounds to place, press, and hang. Look and at that. No wonder they've been popular. And they've only been here for a few days. So here, remember, you're getting everything the mounting. You're getting the strip with the leveler on it. You're mm -hmm. getting your mounting brackets. You choose whether you want your shelves, which um, just have this stainless steel design, but the wood-like finish in espresso. Or we have the set of two in white. Four easy payments of $12.49, brand new this month. Remake a room with ease and confidence because Megan Elizabeth showed us that yes, we can. Absolutely. All right. Hey, you're going to be with Alberti. Yes. Coming up and feels like home with Alberti with another item, mm -hmm. the hooks yeah. that are very popular. So definitely keep stay tuned, especially if you're a fan of Megan and her blog. She'll be along later. Oh, speaking of Alberti. Hi, Capricorn. Yeah. Oh, so How are you? Happy birthday to you, Belated. Uh, thank you.